What up, y'all? It's your man, D-Real, coming at you with another Be Real with D-Real, where entertainment is what I do. And if you are digging what a brother's shoveling, put some dirt in my bucket. Yep, yep, yep. We are here, ready to do another fun video, another informative video, because entertainment is what I do. Um, and while I'm doing what I do, y'all do what y'all do. Comment, like, and subscribe to the Be Real with D Real page so that you can get alerts when new material comes out. Without further ado, I'm gonna do another movie review. Hi, see that rhyme? I'm a poet. Didn't even know it. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Promise. <laughs> um, when seen Uncharted. So this is going to be. Bump it. I'm going to spoil it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and spoil it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen it, exit stay left or right because I am going to be dropping spoilers about the movie Uncharted. For those of you that don't know or have been under a rock, Uncharted is the new movie based on the PlayStation video game released all the way back in 2007 on the PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3, we all the way up to 5. So there have, speaking of 5s, I don't think there have been any less than 5 Uncharted games uh, on all of the uh, PlayStation commodities, including the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 4, uh, the Vita, um, and the 5. So you've had about five games all together, I believe. It might be more, but don't get me to um, lie in because I am not a gigantic Uncharted fan. Um, I have dabbled. Uh, I know Uncharted was kind of like a, it started off kind of a platforming kind of game, and then it became kind of an open world kind of game. Um but I just, I don't know, uh, the popularity of it because of the, the puzzle solving, that aspect of it, and then you actually did have enemies that you had to fight, but you got all of that in the God of War series, so that's kind of why I wasn't really checking <laughs> for Uncharted because I was so deep in the God of War. I did all three God of Wars. Um, I think I only actually finished one of them, <laughs> but I got really far in the games. I was I was a huge Kratos fan simply because, you know, T.C. Carson was voicing him uh, in that first arc. But anyway, we're not talking about God of War. We're talking about Uncharted. Uncharted tells the story of Nathan Drake, who in the video game is said to be a descendant of... Uh, Sir Francis Drake, historically. Um, but in this version, uh, Nathan Drake is played by Tom Holland. Okay, I know in the game, Nathan Drake is, you know, kind of a physically fit guy. And Tom Holland, you know, being Spider-Man, he's already pretty fit and pretty athletic. So he was he was ready for the role. Um, I feel like it was more of a origin story for Nathan Drake because they tell the story of how he meets uh, Sully and 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 um, they go on an adventure together and he's not trusting Sully and that's kind of the whole crux of the movie to kind of build their relationship. Um, and Sully's played by Mark Wahlberg. And there are a lot of uh, fun quips that go on between Mark Wahlberg and, 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 and Tom Holland. Or should I just say Nathan and Sully? There you go. Um, Antonio Banderas is playing the bad guy. Or at least Antonio Banderas is who we think is playing the bad guy, at least in this movie. So there are a few actors in this movie that I am not familiar with. Um, 
the gal who plays uh Chloe Frazier is uh Sophia Ali. Um I do not believe uh bah, bah, bah. nope. I never watched uh, Grey's Anatomy. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, it to me the movie version of Uncharted is kind of a I guess updated version of Indiana Jones because there's, you know, there's treasure hunting and then there's mysteries to solve, much like in the game. You got puzzles that you got to figure out. And, and basically, uh, the story um, is about these two crosses that come together and, and, and basically kind of uh, act as a key and a compass to finding this lost treasure that is said to be worth five billion in today's dollars. So between Chloe, Victor Sullivan, AKA Sully and Nathan Drake teaming up, there's a lot of mistrust between, you know, the three of them as far as honor among thieves, they're all waiting for an opportunity to double cross, stab each other in the back, do whatever. Come to find out, after Chloe gets in good with Nathan and Sully, we find out she's working for the bad guys. And there's another bad guy by the name of Braddock who is trying to do the same thing that Chloe's doing. Uh, Braddock is played by uh, uh, an actress by the name of Tati Gabrielle. Uh, who I have also never heard of. Um, I've seen her. I've seen her on, I think, a CW show. I think it was the 100. I think she had a role on there. But she plays the heavy. Uh, what I like about her is her primary weapon is a karambit knife. And she's actually pretty athletic. And the fight scenes that go on, are, I guess, realistic, but not realistic. I mean, the character Braddock, she looks to be maybe 130 pounds at the most, but she's taking on guys double her size, in some cases, triple her size, and handling them, and it ain't with that karambit either. She's handling them hand to hand. So my thing with that is, wow, she's got to be some kind of super duper jits artist or something because she's beating up 200 pound guys, 220 pound guys with ease. People who are way out of her weight class. That is the part that threw me off. Most of the action was, you know, for the most part, pretty believable, but it was like, Okay, you got Nathan Drake. He's He's got childhood trauma. Let's call it that. And he manages to grow up in New York and become a bartender when he's approached by Sullivan, who wants him to help find this treasure. And he seems not really... Why well, he seems he's not experienced at traveling the world and doing all of these, you know, world hopping Indiana Jones type things. But he acclimates himself real quick. But then again, Nathan Drake, Tom Holland is a little fella. Again, I got trouble believing a little fella fighting way out of his weight class. I don't mean a little bit out of his weight class. We talking and, and you looking at Tom Holland. Tom Holland can't be more than one fifty. Can't be, you know, but he's fighting guys that's 250 and, you know, this big giant Scotsman played by Steve Waddington, who you might remember as the guy who got burnt up um, in The Last of the Mohicans. If you don't remember that, then you should go back and watch The Last of the Mohicans. It's crazy. Anyway, overall, Uncharted, I didn't really spoil it too much, did I? Uncharted is a good actioner. It's a good, it's a good date movie. It's a good movie to take somebody out. You know, I, I took the missus out. We went and checked it out and ate popcorn and she fell asleep. But her falling asleep is because she was tired 
not because the movie sucked. Now understand what I say when I say actioner. When I say actioner, what I mean is it's an action movie that's enjoyable. Now, if you look at it from that aspect, it's an entertaining movie. But if you look at it from the aspect of it's a terrible uh, movie translation of Uncharted, well, then, yeah, that's what you're going to get out of it. So it boils down to the fact of there's two parties and two trains of thought with this Uncharted movie. There's the Uncharted faithful who've been down with it since PlayStation and say it's a horrible, horrible rendition of Uncharted. Then you got the school of people who are just moviegoers, not necessarily diehard fans of Uncharted that thought it wasn't a bad outing for a movie based on a video game property, even though I haven't played much of that video game. What you gonna do? Um, my overall rating for Uncharted, again, until we get into summer blockbusters, for the most part, all y'all gonna be seeing out of me is sixes and sevens. Um, not that I'm crazy. Shout out to my British folks. Um, <laughs> 7.5 is what I give it. It's It's an entertaining movie. It gets right to the point. It gets started. Um, when the movie starts, there's already action going on, and we've got a flashback through the whole movie to get to the point where we're at when the movie opens up, which I thought was cool. But like I said, 7.5 overall, I recommend it. It's worth going to see once. Have you seen Uncharted yet? Do you plan? to see Uncharted. Whatever you plan to do with Uncharted, drop it in the comments. And as always, I will be coming at y'all with another one of them other ones. And until I do, y'all be good. Be good to each other.